Oh yeah, their Trindomir does have Smite. What the heck? Nice doing something cheesy. Honestly, into Anivia, he's probably that that makes sense. He's probably gonna just like push and take camps. Cause Anivia is really hard to punish. Especially as Trindomir. I feel like there's no way you kill that early. Yeah, we're finally in game, dude. After a 30 plus minute queue, so hopefully this is a good one. Garen matchup. Honestly, Garen matchup is kind of just scaling. He won't ignite. Try to keep his passive down. Oh, I thought he started W. He actually started Q. I don't. I thought that first Q was his W. I'm gonna really try to farm really good this match. That's really the big thing against Garen. It's such a hard scaling matchup. You really just have to keep your CS up. Can't really punish Garen early, especially with D-Shield. Try to look for a callback here. Nice. Got kind of worried there. I have to get that cannon if I want to get call. Does Garen outscale you damage-wise? Nah. Um, I will say level 6 to 9 is really tough against Garen, because especially if he's running Ignite, like if you get half HP, he will kill you. Like you have to respect him. Nice, huge. I'm going to fix this guy's wave. That pushes in. All right, not bad. I tried to E flash there and it actually just didn't go off. That was weird. I'm kind of glad though. I think that was actually better. Cause if I E flash, he could probably spin away over this wall and then I can't catch him. Yeah, they got knee mid. Honestly though, this is a root. Our, comp our team comp is so good. Like we just need to get to team fights, dude. This game is really going to be a team fight game. We have so much damage that you just can't build against. Like Anivia, Karthus, Ergot, they just do so much consistent damage. And once they have items, like you, you can't really build against them. Worst Ergot matchups. Anything range is pretty bad. Uh, Vayne Lucian are definitely my least favorite. In terms of melee matchups, it's like Mordekaiser, Trindamir, Wukong. Those are pretty bad. Honestly, Urgot has a lot of bad matchups. You just have to, uh... No matter what, you still scale, you know? You always gotta keep that in mind. But it's hard to win a lot of lanes with Urgot. Like, your early level 1 and 2 is really good, but in, until 9, after that, like, 3 to 9 is pretty pretty hard in a lot of matchups. If you're against equal skill level opponent, it's pretty tough. Shaq is mid. Oh, he's running back top, though. Ooh, my wave's in a bad spot, too. We try to push him back here for sure. Man, Tabbies would be such a good bind to their comp, but I need HP first. 
Ooh, I'm gonna wait pickaxe. I have a little bit of kill pressure with pickaxe. If I can chunk him to like 70%. Yeah, I always do two points in Q. That's such a nice bard portal, dude. Holy moly. I remember I got bo I, I played bard in like a normals once and I tried to do that portal. It's actually kind of hard to do. I can't save you with TP this time. If Karthus can get six here, he might get six off the kill. If he can kill. Dude, I wonder... Oh. I hope he doesn't get cancelled. Nice. My wave's in a good spot too, even though we waited. It's really nice. Yeah, not gonna lie, there's a lot of odd champions in this game for a Diamond 1 game. There's a lot of like just weird, like simple champions that you don't see very much. Like I haven't seen a Garen in over a week. I've seen like one Trindamir in the past week. Don't really see much of Nivea. Yeah, see if he W's my E, I can't really, can't really do much there. He gains an insane amount of tenacity. Oh my god, if I didn't get creep blocked, I could have killed him there. Because I'm literally free stacking my conquer on him. He's trying to look for a fruit. Man, I could have comboed him out there. That's what I need to do though. I just need to auto attack him and build up conquer and then all in. Wait, what? All right, we push here. I'm not sure how they got away with that. It's fine, we're getting close to level nine. I can start taking more fights. I might be able to dive here. It's kind of risky though. I'm kind of glad. He W'd that anyway. Let's see if I can bait out a flash. Mm, no way, dude. Uh, that's one of the worst feelings. So close, man. I don't have TP for that wave either. Wait, did Karthus have R? The creep block. Ah, he's good. Hmm, mid is actually... I thought there was like... I thought she wasn't going to be dying much in that lane. Apparently she is. So close, man. It's okay. We're scaling. We really are scaling with our entire team comp. I don't think Anivia's targeting anything. I think she's just getting wrecked. I really doubt she's targeting thing. I don't even want to 
want to TP on that. I got zero four. You want to go for the dive, buddy? My E's down. Whoa, okay. Got more damage than I thought right now. Does he have Ignite? He does. You know, I was actually thinking about that too, but I thought I could take him if he did that. That's fine. Shaco getting kills, it's not, it shouldn't be too big of a deal, honestly. Not bad. Control word in there, brother. Honestly, not bad. I'm at the levels where I can start killing Garen now, finally. Doesn't have stride yet either. I'm just kind of, I'm stressed out about our mid lane, dude. I feel like I need to help. Is he in there, maybe? Oh, I think Bard should have ganked this. That's fine. Yeah, this is the reason why Garen's a farm matchup, though, is because if I E and he Ws, I just don't even get a stun. So if he doesn't want to do anything, like, I can't pressure him. Even if I land E, like, I can't press my lead against him. Can't even get on him. Dude, we're losing T2 mid. Can Anivia just wave clear with ulti? Yeah, we need to do something here. This is not working out. This guy just refuses to fight me. That was jungles there, that's why he's running in. Hit the fruit. Yeah, let me cash in my call, dude, please. Honestly, not bad. Got a big shutdown. I'm getting kills at least. I'm getting kills through other names. Kind of feel like this is going to be a stride breaker game. I feel like I need the mobility. Cleaver into stride, probably. I might go for Ausfire. We'll see. I kind of feel like I have to be everywhere on the map, though. They also have pretty kiteable champs, so. Stride might be kind of nice for that. This guy's level 12. Alright, go top, brother. I'm going to try to match the trend. Even though it's a really hard matchup for me. Dude, why are you going mid? Does he just have everyone muted? Nice. 
I have to run back there to buy time on his ulti. So my grand actually executes. Whoa, did he EN? Dude, this match is so weird. It's hard to play Ergot in games like this, because, like, Ergot's not a champion that just, like, runs over everyone, at least until he gets stride. Maybe I should get stride second. I already got call field, though. I, I just feel like I have to be everywhere this game, but I can't, because I'm also kiteable, you know? Everywhere, everyone's just dying everywhere. All right, I don't know if I can match Trin. We'll see. Gore Drinker, Navori. I mean, he has a bunch of CDR. He's probably just gonna kite me out and run with Sven. I'm down to fight, dude. I I just can't chase though. Like he has 75 ability haste. There's no way I can chase that. I don't even think I can chase with Stride. Yeah, these are the games where it's tough to play Ergot, where they're just not gonna team fight 5v5. They're gonna just like make us dance around the map. Come on, Crab, where are you? He might have jungle help. I need to get a back off. Need this cleaver ASAP. How does Ezreal die to Garen? Yeah, I have no idea. He must have eaten. I have to push out another wave. Thankfully, they don't have a TP on the team, so we should be able to use that to our advantage here. These guys are overextending hard. We should punish this for sure. Huge. Should guarantee us dragon. We got the sidestep. Kill the Shaka first, guys. Oh, I thought he jumped in. <laughs> Ooh, I can't get over. They're going to try to do Baron. They have double smite, so this Trindamir is going to play for Baron 100%. I don't have TP. Oh, no. If jungle dies, they're going to Baron. Just gonna ward Baron. This was on the wrong hotkey, man. I could have bursted him.
God, I wish I had stride right now. I really do. With my technique, killing beings into artwork. Hmm. I feel like a one-man army this game, dude. Honestly. Like, I literally feel like I'm playing a limb. I should have gone stride second this game, but I was already invested in coal fields. My team doesn't know how to play their map pressure. It's really annoying. It's really hard for me to try to do everything at, at once. I can't do it with Ergot. See what happens though. We are outscaling. I need the stride. I need the stride so bad, man. I really do. That was an unfortunate ulti to miss. No. That's unfortunate, dude. I'm selling D Blood. All right, three item spike. We'll see what we can do. Almost had the portal save, man. I feel like Anivia should start being able to do something now, hopefully. Yeah, it kind of does feel that way. I mean, I think my bot lane's trying, but... I think people are trying, I just... I don't think they know how to play against their champions and like the macro that really seems like the issue and I can't really I can't really teach them in one game or like shot call in one game if we we're on voice maybe but I can't do it through pings and like trying to focus myself We should fight for this, 100%. Man, we should really just force there, I feel like. Imagine if they get Cloud Soul on top of this, dude. Just get Drake, I guess. He's literally pulling everyone over. Just do this for the slow. Nice. Okay, that buys us a minute to get some map pressure going here. Honestly, I'm gonna go dead man's for the movement speed this game. And they're all AD, it's actually really good. Movement speed is so value here.
We gotta use this time to just push out webs. So we can actually fight for something. It's kind of annoying. I think me and Karthus, like, this game is just so hard to play without voice. Me and Kartha should have stayed for the drag and the rest go to answer the trend. Can I just bait me to the team? I can't chase any of their champions. For sure. Oh man, I need my team to jump on that gen. Hmm. Dude, I need dead man's. I think dead man's will be such a good buy here. I might actually be able to stick to them with dead man's. I think Dead Man's into like Grudge is maybe the play, honestly. Nah, I don't buy Gore Drinker anymore. Item's been nerfed into the ground. It doesn't give you any like mobility either. Which is very rough in this season. Ooh, nice. Okay, Nivea's starting to scale. I think it's better if I just run there. Giving up my TP is big. I'm down a Baron, but I can just run there. I need TP in case they try to backdoor. Oh my god, he has smite. Please kill him, guys. Dude, the bard got it somehow. That guy's so squishy. Surprise! Oh, nice. Good cancel. Really well played by Karthus there. Thirty off, dude. I'm actually gonna go grudge. I think it's huge. It'll give me more slow too, so I can actually stick. And Garen is super tanky. I think it's good this game. Nice. Okay, we're actually getting some control of the map. Finally, dude. We're starting to scale. This is looking much easier to play. Just have to make sure they don't get Cloud Soul. Cloud Soul is actually insane for them this game, just off the movement speed. Oh, I tried to predict it. Don't get baited by this. I'm going to help Karthus out. We really have to get this. He's trying to just pull away from the drag. Making sure the Shaka doesn't steal. Just face tank those. Oh my god, I'm zooming, dude. 478 movement speed. At least with the dead man stacks. 
Yeah, no, movement speed is just key this game. That's the key to winning this match. I feel like I'm playing Rannis, dude. Yeah, true. I need a split bot here. the wave actually I'm gonna shred turrets with this build dude I'm gonna shred everything with this build honestly They're trying to back door. Yeah, just push wave. We got this. We definitely beat him with five people. Just go for turrets, guys. Give me that grind. The base race, dude. Ooh, GG. That game was, uh, that game was very hard, man. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't talking too much that game. I had to focus on macro, man. That was a good game, though. I'm glad we actually, I feel like we had a lot of impact on winning that one. Who do I give it to, man? Goliath. Jeez, what a game, dude. 30k damage. Honestly, thought I'd have a little bit more, but I guess we didn't have too much in that lane. Yeah, I mean, they were just, man, they were pressuring the map, and they just had mobile champions. I should have went stride second that game, for sure. I should have went stride second, for sure. In my head, I was like, Cleaver does give a little bit of movement speed, so maybe we'll be fine. And it's nice against Garen because he gets so much armor, right? Like, he gets a bunch of free armor from the W. But the problem is, like, he can just... He wasn't fighting me. He was just avoiding the matchup. Like, that Garen, I don't think he ever went in on me. But yeah, that was a good match, dude. We'll take it.